Hey guys, it's me Matthew, uh, of course, of course, and in this video, I'm back with some more Planet Zoo. Um, I missed my daily video yesterday, um, so I'm going to try to make that up with two videos today, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I honestly kind of dreaded coming back to this because I, I don't like the direction I went. I think I could have done this much better, so I am going to try and clean this up a bit because I think this is pretty ugly and, um, yet again, could, could have been done much better. So let's just select this whole thing and just delete it. Um, close that. And I'm just gonna try to delete everything that I've put down in here. And I'm probably gonna have to delete those paths as well. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, that's right click. Okay. I play multiple different types of games, and I have played hundreds of different games, so I get lost in the controls constantly. So my idea here, I'm thinking I'll, um, oops, not have this land bridge, but instead have an actual bridge gro uh, going through it. So that I can have a continuous circle barrier and I'll have it loop up here and go down and all that nonsense. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. But it looks like I think I got everything. I hope. And I'm going to increase the size. And I understand that this is probably a little too big for lemurs. Probably a lot of too big. But, whoops, what I could do is I could make some sort of island kind of thing. Oh man, there's so many different ideas. Because I know that they give you these flat maps to work with. I kind of wish that they gave you bases to work off of. Or you can still edit the, the, ter the terrain if you want to, but it gives you a theme that you can expand on in your own unique way. Because I'm not good at this terrain generation in the slightest. Um, so, having more of a 3D kind of zoo and not just a flat plains kind of zoo is a little difficult. Um, yeah, let's see here. I'm going to try to pull this back out. I want to make sure that all of this is flat over here where the buildings are going and I'm not sure how big this pit needs to be I believe they need 200 square feet of movement I don't understand I'm also wasting a lot of money doing this so I think Hmm. I could have it go around the edge, or go around that way, or just go over this bit right here. It doesn't have to go straight across the middle. And I should also put that out of the path last, after I've placed everything and designed it how I want to. So what I'm going to do here is smooth everything out, see what I want to... Uh, 
pull and push to make it a little bit smoother. That doesn't look terrible. And let's see here, barriers. I don't remember. Uh, it's up here, okay. I'm looking for the red ruffed. Uh, it's not red ruffed ringtail, because ringtail is a sub. Yeah, red ruffed lemur. They need 210 square meters. Um, so I'm not sure how big that is just by looking at this. Um, hmm. I'm pretty damn sure that's not two meters wide, but maybe it is to the game. Um, because that would be an absolutely fucking massive pillar. Whoops. Oh, wait, no, it's two meters tall. Yeah, that's... That's... That's where I'm miss messing up. Height snap. Um, so let's see here. I think I'm gonna try to have... Ah, oh, crap, I need to look at how tall the barrier needs to be. Grade one climb proof. It doesn't say how tall the, the barrier needs to be. Usually they have at least a little bit of a guide of how tall the wall needs to be so that they don't climb out. So in that case, it doesn't need to be that tall, nearly anywhere near as tall as I used to have it. So let's try to get four, uh, four meters. Yeah, that's all right. Um, I guess I'll start by going this way. And that's not, let's not snap it. So that I can be a little bit more detailed with how I do this. I'm gonna be a little wavy. So I'm not gonna go around flattening everything too much for this. And I think, yeah, it will go up so that the uh, entrance can be right over here. And then I guess the visitors will go over this part right here. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. And just a nice little spot for the gate to be. Just a little dimple, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. And let's put in the habitat gate. Other side. There we go. And I don't need any windows in this. And that is a massive amount of land. Um, they don't need nearly as much as I gave them, but I don't know. I don't like giving, I know they're virtual animals, but I wouldn't restrict an animal to a cage that small, you know? This looks pretty damn good. I mean, it's bigger than my home. <laughs> That's for damn sure. A lot of fucking bigger than my home. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I think these animals will be all right. 
um, just to make sure that the climbing requirement is 20 meters. It doesn't say that uh, how tall the, the fence needs to be. Although I'd imagine in real life, like from what I remember, I've been to, oh shit, it's not paused. God damn it. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, but I've been to the San Diego Zoo um, not too long ago, and if I can remember correctly, which I don't think I can, the lemur exhibits were pretty, pretty big, and they were almost entirely netted off. I think the, I think they were completely enclosed in a netting-like wall. Um, so, I don't know how this works in this game, but, I mean, of course they're not going to make it 100% realistic or anything like that. Let's try to reduce this just a bit. I suppose you wouldn't want gaps and guests could fall into. That's not terrifying or anything. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose I wouldn't mind hiding the, uh... I don't care if it clips through or not. It makes it look, uh, more like just a hole in the ground. wrong. Um, so let's just try to, uh, it could look better. No, that doesn't work. That does not work. Yeah, I, I suppose that's fine. Um, nope, let's undo that bit right there. Yeah, uh, there we go. That's all right. And now, did I pause it at sunset? Uh, son of a bitch, that's annoying. Hmm, so I need to unhighlight that. Can I unhighlight this? Please. That's annoying. Hmm. I like this path. It looks alright. It does need to be wider though. That's too high. Yeah, I guess that's all right. That highlight is very annoying. how it like randomly waves there that and how it expands like that I wanted to be a little bit more consistent I can't raise it when I'm looking at it from up above it's not raising there we go um, it's not gonna raise we're just not going to turn just yet. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I'll turn now. 
and maybe go straight. And then I could keep it elevated and have a theme of it going above different enclosures for a little bit. Kind of like three enclosures where you go above them and do maybe some sort of thick bamboo forest. So it's kind of like a raised platform, more tropical, maybe, even though don't know how that works too well here. I don't know exactly what climates bamboo grows in, but I think I've seen temperate bamboo, so... I know I've definitely seen plenty of tropical bamboo. Hmm. So it could split off here. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. One, two... 45 degree angles, maybe? One, two, three. And then have it just go straight. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then I'll focus on that in a bit. Whoops. So, they have plenty of land. I know I'm going to need some trees. Uh, let's make sure that the filters get put on, biome, tropical, and continent, was it Africa? I believe it was Africa. Hmm. Now I really like these catwalk trees, but it doesn't make too much sense. Mostly because they like uh, jump out. I know that won't happen in, in this scenario, but if I were planning a zoo and I wanted to make it look and feel like a zoo, well, if I wanted, okay, if I was planning a real zoo in real life, then this would not be happening over a lemur exhibit. It would be entirely enclosed in the first place. But I think um, a bunch of tall catwalk trees, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just assuming the pronunciation. That's probably pretty good for those trees. And let's go look at the slime, or the slime pedia, what the fuck? Why did I go straight to Slime Rancher? I haven't played that in a while. The Zoopedia. Um, and they want. What is there? There's no absolute specifications. Okay. So I'd have to put them in there to figure out exactly the kind of cover that they'd want. Those roots look a little weird, but it works. I'll just put some more foliage underneath just to block the hideousness of it. Yeah, like that. That one's floating. Oh, whoops. If only there was like a, a paintbrush for these. bunch of little plants of varying different sizes. Did I just add a new species in there? Uh, if I could, yeah, they, there can be a, there can be a few different species in here. It doesn't need to just be one. Yeah, that's a banana palm. It's a little concentrated, but that's not a big deal. That doesn't make sense. I 
I could put a little water feature down here. Palms around the uh, the outside, just cause I can. I'm pretty sure palms. Well, actually, I have no idea, so I'm not gonna comment on that. Never mind. I've thought better. I'm clustering these way too much. So let's just undo a bunch of those. Oh, I don't want the, I need a nice area for the toys and feeding. Yeah, that looks all right. I need to figure out the vine situation at some point. But that's, uh, that's a little too tedious for me. And I, I suck at controlling this camera. So, well, I wonder. Can they climb these vertically if I put them like they were hanging from the tree? Or are these more of a uh, horizontal kind of vine? know what I'm doing with this. Uh, that's not the one that I wanted to grab. There we go. Now green. There we go. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's rotate blue a little bit. Whoops. Okay. A little bit more into that tree. So they're not touching, but if I were to exit and move this tree. Yeah, that's all right. And now that works for me. It doesn't make sense, but it doesn't need to make sense. That's the beauty of it. It's a video game. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I will, I guess, have they come out of quarantine yet? Or have they, have they not even gone into quarantine yet? This is animal trading. Animal storage, simple sanctuary. I don't know if they've been moved, if they need to be moved. I thought I moved them all already, but maybe I didn't. Let that play out. Oh, wait, I don't have, um, Staff. I thought, for some reason, I thought it, you started with staff. One keeper. Let's pause this again. So, uh, at least one caretaker. One mechanic. I don't know if, well, yeah, I do need a mechanic. One vet. Um, I want to do a lot more with this exhibit before I'm finished with it, but... To make money, I'm going to have to put down more exhibits here. But for now, um, I should make some area for them to eat and uh, buy things for money. Because I need money. And that reminds me, I need to put down, I guess an ATM wouldn't hurt right here. Uh, this is require electricity. It might require electricity. 
can't see shit with this filter on. Jesus. I don't think this one needs uh, electricity. Yeah, it doesn't. Somehow. Uh, facilities. Donation box. Put one right here. Here. Here and here. Yeah. Educational speakers here, here, and here. With... Um, that's not gonna... Kinda wish that they'd snap to the uh, platform, or to the paths, but... Nope, that's not... Okay, now it doesn't want to move. There we go. I don't understand. And back to black. Education, I can't put anything on it yet because it doesn't have anything in there yet. Um, some habitat essentials. Hopefully the trees count as climbing, but if not, um, I'm going to go weak sauce on this stuff and just put some really crappy basic platforms and climbing posts for them. Whoa. I should entertain them a little bit. Uh, so let's see. Best things for the lemur. I don't know if they'll need a uh, cooler or not. I do need a shelter for them. I would have a water pipe, but that would require putting down a water treatment thing. So instead, uh, a couple water bowls. And how do I feed them? Oh, okay. A boreal feeding platform. I'm used to metal trays, not these wooden platforms. I don't know how that was any less obstructed, but at least it uh, works out. And hard shelters. Uh, I don't know how much hard shelter lemurs need. But I suppose it wouldn't be a terrible idea to put in... Hmm. All this land is a little difficult. So let's flatten this to foundation maybe. Right here. And then add a square. Yeah, like that. Some basic bedding. Maybe reaching out of it just a little bit. Yeah, and that's good. Hopefully that's enough. If it's not enough for three lemurs, then, well, I'll add on to it. Um, but yeah, I need to start making money somehow. I don't know how long it's going to take for the lemurs to get through quarantine. So 
they'll speed on through, lose a crap ton of money, until it lets me, okay, two of them, I'm not sure which two, oh, all three, there we go, move to the only exhibits, oh crap, I'm an idiot, oopsie, There they go. There's two. And let's see what do what do they need for environments? Coverage is all right. Terrain, they need a lot more short grass. They like soil. So let's use painting. Maybe a little bit of long grass here and there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's not what I wanted to do. I forgot the controls. Okay, where's the last lemur? You bringing the, over the last lemur or not? You guys just left it in a box over there? What the fuck? Come on. Get that damn lemur, lemur over here. <laughs> there we go. better habitat, but it's pretty large. It needs a lot more to climb. I wonder if they're smart enough in this game, if they program them to uh, form the um, cuddle puddles that they make in real life. And that's my cat Joe sneezing. He's allergic to cuteness. Yes. Okay. I wanted to see one of them climb at least a little bit. But I do need to, uh... Security guards to deal with crime. Okay, fine. I guess uh, one security guard lasts for quite a while. I know these are in the middle of the path, but it's fine. Um, let's see here. I want to add some benches here and there. I don't really care where. And some trash cans. I don't really have a source of trash in here yet, but when I do, I want them to have places to put it. And I guess I could have a security camera right here. I don't know how far that covers, but maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. I 
I see two. Where's the third one? Maybe it's climbing a tree or something. Oh, it's over here. It's so fucking tiny. Yeah, I should probably have made the habitat smaller. I mean, once I have like 20 lemurs in here, then that's going to be a lot, a, a major difference to what it's like, to what it's like right now. Jesus Christ, I just had a fucking mini stroke. Um, vet research. Forgot to set on the researching that right away. And hmm, I know these are African. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll go with an African theme. I should probably, I don't know. The way that I did this habitat could have been done a lot better a lot, lot better. This is one of my worst habitats I've ever made. Man, I wish I saved one of my first zoos. I had, uh, alligators, and I had this nice, like, water, um, this window that had, like, a, a way to look into the water, so when the crocodiles were swimming, you could see them through the window. And, of course, that was the highest paying exhibit that I had and it was it was really good but I do need more exhibits here and I think I will get to that in a future episode if you enjoyed this video please let me know if you absolutely hated it and you never want to see another one please let me know I don't want to waste my time in your time making shitty videos no one wants to watch which I'm honestly surprised constantly that people do watch my content, but hey, if you want more, I can make more. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>